Today is an important milestone in the history of the Northern Province for our Governor of the Northern Province to have initiated this industrial investors forum and he also very clearly set out in his speech that this investors forum will have in the Kacheri of Jaffna a one-stop shop. It's a very colloquial language, but that's a, the that's a reason. That means we need not go through all these procedural matters to identify your project, to identify your land, and whatever the other prerequisites for investment, the governor of the uh, northern province would facilitate this and facilitate further investment for the northern province. You also mentioned to me that every month we will have an industrial forum in the sense to reassess the investments that are coming to this northern province and see in what way that we can help the northerners to gain their economic freedom. I think it's a very important factor as mentioned in this industrial promotion documentation which was given by the Honorable the Chief Minister, the Honorable the Governor. We are a number of projects and number of industries that way the Northern Province are to be activated. If you look at this list of documents which is probably in your hands, you will see that number of industries were in Jaffna. And these industries were unfortunately, due to the war, have to be closed. As you all are quite aware, as Honorable Mahavi Sinad Raja very clearly said, that as far as Jaffa is concerned, we have come back to zero in the sense the people have suffered for the last 30 years of a war. And the people and the children, one generation, have only seen the war in their life. They have seen anything else than the war. So therefore, we have to take these into consideration. And I earnestly request all the investors who are present here and the investors to be present here to kindly consider this issue that Northern Province is an important province in the entire peninsula. We have to give preference to Northern Province because we have suffered the most. That should be considered. I think Honorable Mahavi Senadaraja as well as the other members of Parliament of the PNA are working very closely with the government of Sri Lanka. And we are trying to do our best to reactivate and help in our form in whatever investments political solutions and many other issues that are in their mind. As far as the constitution is concerned, Honorable Sami Sambarlan is you see, the president of the PND is also a member of the steering committee which I am also a member and I can see we are closely working to one another and seeing that whether we can come into some conclusion to solve the so-called political uh, agendas both by the PNA as well as by the government. I think His Excellency the President and the Prime Minister of this country are very clear in their mind and I must say with due respect to all both of them that they have no reservations as far as Northern Province is concerned. And that is exactly the Honorable Prime Minister with the concurrence of His Excellency the President appointed me as a minister in charge of certain sectors that will probably facilitate the province in furtherance of the objects. Taking these into consideration, we have to keep many things in mind. Basically, we have to give housing for the people who have lost their houses. Secondly, we have to give them a livelihood. Just building a house alone is not going to survive. They will get up in the morning and have their next meal. I used to always say, you are giving them some sort of a 
place to stay, but the next morning they don't know what they are going to do. They, are, they won't even have, how are they going to earn their living to even to drink a cup of tea? So these are the certain factors that we have to consider. So therefore, friends, we have to see that the investment of that nature comes into this country. That we have to get investment, so firstly, as far as the Permit the the the, the what can I call it? That is for the, for each individual for their livelihood. Now, if you look at Jaffna, if you look at the northern province, there are two main livelihoods. One is farming, second is fishing. These are two major sectors that the northern province has to go to. So we have to see in what way we can improve the the farming sector. There are a number of ways of doing it. We are running short of water. We need industrial wells. In fact, in my SDS program, in my ministry, I am going to concentrate mostly on irrigation. I am going to work closely with the irrigation department and do up all the present wells in Jaffna and also certain ponds of but can I uh, bonds that can which re, to be reactivated so that they can be of certain value for the farming of, of the farmers of the northern province. It's a very vital point. Very, very important issue. Water and the water resources is a very important factor as far as farming is concerned in the northern province. Secondly, as far as fishing is concerned, I think Honorable Amaravira just left a few minutes ago with Honorable Mrs. Maheswaran from Karanagar also trying to open up a new industrial jetty which is costing 300 billion rupees in Karanagar. I think the government of Sri Lanka also this year the, 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 the finance ministry has given me 40,000 billion rupees for the development of the northern province. And I have since spent every single money up to now and started the projects. And I have also very clearly laid out in the daily news as well as the Vila history, especially on, the, on June 27th, I have very clearly laid out all my programs that I have taken and done and commenced during my term of office this year. We have only completed, we have completed many things. We are, we are doing up the roads, we are doing a lot of schools, reactivating the new houses, we are giving subsistence to people, uh, we are giving water service, we are building wells in a number of ways. In all schools have been re re renovated. Of course, there is a lot to be done, and we have only just completed one year. So there is another four years ahead of us. And therefore, I think with the blessings of the TNA, with the blessings of the families of the Northern Province, we, the government of Sri Lanka, can see that we have some sort of sunrise and economic development in this country. This is where you have to play a big, a great part. Now we have to see in what way we can modernize this whole situation. We can't go in the same old system that Jaffna was 50 years ago. Today, if you see, if you look at the entire concept of social activity, there is a complete change. There is a different atmosphere. There is a different technology. There is a different communication. And therefore, we have to take all those into consideration to make the northern province a hub in this country. It is not difficult. It is very easy. Because we have so many foreigners. There are so many families. So many diaspora members who are brought. Now we have talked enough, we have discussed enough. You all know what the issues are. The issues are basically farming, we have to give better farming procedures to the farmers of this northern province, and also fishing. These are the two fundamental. Then, of course, there are many other factories. You can start as the Honorable Marisa Nadira just said there is a cement factory, there is Parandar Chemical. <coughs> there is a Kannara board which is fortunately under my, my ministry and I am doing all the best, my best to reactivate 
the income uh, dictionaries, which is going to cost about 110 million rupees. By doing so, if I do reactivate it, then there can be a lot of unemployment solved and there can be many more people who can be called that. As Honorable Mahavi Sinadharaji very clearly said, we have unemployment in this country. We have educated young Tamils. We have educated graduates who are unable to uh, seek jobs. And it is the duty of the government to do this. But government alone cannot do this. That is where we have opened this entire sector, the northern province. We have so much of land available. We have so much of feasibility available. We have got men, manpower, women, all are intelligent people in the northern province. And we can utilize every single individual to see that you get the maximum of your investment. And with your expertise, with your management skill, with your foreign expertise, and all those factors will play a long part as far as Sri Lanka is concerned and as far as the Northern Province is concerned. And therefore, as requested by Honorable <coughs> the Northern Province Governor, we earnestly look forward to see that you are coming to this country, especially the Northern Province, and make some valuable consideration and investments. I don't want to take more time, but there are very learned speakers after me who are going to spell out their theme as far as the northern province is concerned and as far as the investments are concerned. But I am going to do this as they are taking all these instructions of the northern province governor that every month we will have inaugural meetings will be held very soon after this meeting. On the every month we will be deciding and seeing what steps that we have taken to investment forum of investors coming from abroad and investing in this country. It may not only be investors from abroad, there are many Sri Lankans also willing to do it. We have many factors like hotels are trying to come into Sri Lanka. We are developing the the, the Jafta Harali Airport, I think the Indian government has come in with us, Honorable Nandraja SCMP, and we must be very thankful to the Indian government to come forward and make that Harali Airport regional airport. And therefore, another milestone is the famous conference hall that is going to be built, more than 1 million rupees of money worth next to the Indian, to India, next to the Jafta uh, library. That is also done with the blessings of the Indian government. And the Indian government was the only government at that time who stepped in just after the war to see that there is housing problems in solved in that country. So we are always uh, really happy and we should be always thankful to the Indian government and the officials and the ambassadors as well as the Consul General here for their kind help and assistance in the northern province. And we look so we seek and we look forward to further assistance in this country. And therefore I'm not going to take any more time of your time. And I earnestly request all of you all, please consider coming into Sri Lanka, coming to Northern Province and bringing investments in whatever form you want, in whatever manner you want, whatever expertise that you have got, you bring it to Sri Lanka and tell the Tamil community and the young generation of the Tamils to get their economic freedom. Thank you very much.